Okay, Revelation 7. Now remember, up to this point, uh, we have the first six seals uh, being uh, explained, if you will. And so here we're going to uh, continue. <clears throat> right. A after these things, I saw four angels standing on the four corners of the earth, holding the four winds of the earth, that the wind should not blow on the earth, nor on the sea, nor on any tree. And I saw another angel ascending from the east, having the seal of the living God. And he cried with a loud voice to the four angels, to whom it was given to hurt the earth and the sea, saying, Hurt not the earth, neither the sea, nor the trees, till we have sealed the servants of our God in their foreheads. Now this will be important to remember later. Okay? The, the servants of God are those who are saved. Okay? We are sealed right now, and then uh, God is going to destroy everything uh, on earth but not us that are saved. We will be sealed. We will actually be lifted up and be with the Lord at that time when everything below us is destroyed. And I heard the number of them which were sealed, and there were sealed an hundred and forty and four thousand of all the tribes of the children of Israel. Of the tribe of Judah were sealed twelve thousand. Of the tribe of Reuben were sealed 12,000 of the tribe of Gab were sealed, 12,000 of the tribe of Aser were sealed, 12,000 of the tribe of Neph uh, Nephthalim, um, I can't say that word, were sealed, 12,000 of the tribe of Manassas were sealed, 12,000 of the tribe of Simeon were sealed, 12,000 of the tribe of Levi were sealed, 12,000 of the tribe of Ishakar were sealed, 12,000 of the tribe of Zubalim were sealed 12,000 of the tribe of Joseph were sealed 12,000 of the tribe of Benjamin were sealed 12,000 so this is where we got the doctrine of uh, Jehovah's Witness but they forgot to keep reading after this I beheld and lo a great multitude which no man can number of all nations and kindreds and people and tongues before the throne and before the lamb clothed with white robes and palms in their hands and cried with a loud voice, saying, Salvation to our God, which sitteth upon the throne, and unto the Lamb. And all the angels stood round about the throne, and about the elders, and the four beasts, and fell before the throne on their faces, and worshipped God, saying, Amen, blessing, and glory, and wisdom, and thanksgiving, and honor, and power, and might, be unto our God forever and ever. Amen. And one of the elders answered, saying unto me, what are these which are arrayed in white robes, and whence came they? And I said unto him, Sir, thou knowest. And he said to me, These are they which came out of great tribulation, and have washed their robes, and made them white in the blood of the Lamb. Therefore are they before the throne of God, and serve him day and night in his temple. And he that sitteth on the throne shall dwell among them, they shall hunger no more, neither thirst any more, neither shall the sun light on them, nor any heat. For the Lamb which is in the midst of the throne shall feed them, and shall lead them unto living fountains of water. And God shall wipe away all tears from their eyes. Okay, so um, it's important to know here that these. this is uh, talking about all the saved people. Okay. There is not groups of saved people, as one might imagine, with the 12 tribes here and the 12 tribes there, and then after the 12 tribes, uh, a great multitude. Okay, we are all one in Christ Jesus, so that means everybody that is saved from beginning to end are one in Christ Jesus. There is no uh, special groups, the only special group, if you will, uh, would be would be God right so but because God is in us we are now one with God all right so uh, just to to simplify it because people want to look at this and they want to break it down and saying and they'll make doctrines I don't know if you've heard this before people will make doctrines out of each tribe saying this tribe is different and this tribe is different uh, no we are one 
in Christ Jesus. So we are all the same. And this is uh, just uh, given a detailed uh, picture, if you will, of all the people that are saved. And it's going to be a lot, but it's also important to know that in today's world, there is not a lot of people saved. And the further we get, or the closer we get to the coming of our Lord Jesus, the fewer people on earth that will actually be saved. So, in that sense, we are in a great decline. And uh, let's see, this talks about the Great Tribulation. These are those that came out of the Great Tribulation. So, um, you know, I'll also take issue with people who say the Great Tribulation is the wrath of God. And I said unto him, Sir, thou knowest. And he said to me, These are they which came out of Great Tribulation. So, this Great Tribulation is not the wrath of God, neither is the Great Tribulation in Matthew 24. And I've had to seriously consider, is Matthew 24, the Great Tribulation, talking about the wrath of God? Well, no, because Jesus comes after the Great Tribulation. If he came before the Great Tribulation, and then you said the Great Tribulation was the wrath of God, then maybe, but no, that's not how it's played out. And this is consistent all through the Bible. Okay, so Jesus comes in the clouds of heaven. And at that time we are lifted up. And then the wicked be, are still on earth. And they will be destroyed. That's the wrath of God, okay? And then there, everything is going to be new. New heaven, new earth. We're going to be transformed in, into our new bodies. We're going to be set back down on New Jerusalem. And... Uh, all things will be new. It's very simple, really. Uh, people want to try to break down everything and try to complicate and confuse everything, and none of it makes sense. But if you look at it in a very simplistic way, it all makes perfect sense because it's, it's not complicated. We are being taught uh, over and over the same thing. We're not being... We, we are not... In, it's not meant for us to be confused. It's meant to be simple. All it takes is faith. I'm not sure I got more uh, to add, but uh, it's going to get uh, even juicier, so hold on to your seats. <laughs>